Alright guys, so I'm starting a video series. This is going to be the first episode. Uh, just kind of tracking my progress throughout the week as opposed to just putting up, up putting out update videos. Because that gets kind of, sometimes I have too, like, too much to say about an update. So I'm just going to record everything throughout the week. Record my lifts because it started Wendler 531 this week. So focusing more on strength because my push-pull leg split that I was doing was a lot more focused on hypertrophy. Especially for squat bench and deadlifts, I was really consistently doing six to eight reps, and that's not really a strength building rep range. I mean, so they say. But I'm going to be doing Wendler lifts, and for my accessory work, I kind of wrote it myself. It's I'll show you guys when I get home because I have it all on my computer. But I'll definitely go through that if you guys want to see that. But. For my main lifts, this week has been pretty good. It's a 5.55 five, five plus rep range that I'm working in with 75, 80, 85% of my max. Those are what the three sets are. So this morning, actually, I did deadlifts. 375 was my heaviest set, and I had been repping out 405 in the weeks leading up. So, I mean, it really wasn't that tough, but I'd rather, I'd rather ease into this kind of program as opposed to just jumping right in so I don't die out quick. But I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this program treats me, especially since my accessory work, I'm making it pretty low volume. My push-pull leg split usually every day, sorry if you can only see my chin, uh, every day was about 20 sets, my workouts, five days a week. And I made the accessory work for this about, I think, less than 15 sets per day, and it's only four days a week. I've always trained at least five or six days a week, so I'm definitely, I definitely want to see how training four days a week affects me, affects my body, especially with like rest and recovery. The accessory work is a uh, upper lower split, so on uh, overhead press and bench press days, I'm going to be working more upper body movements, and on deadlifts and uh, squat days, it's going to be all lower body. So it's twice a week for upper, twice a week for lower. That's what that looks like. Um, I'm really looking forward to this video series, just being able to post updates every day. Because I mean, I walk to the gym in the morning at like 6.30 or before seven and no one on my campus is awake. So I'm just gonna film stuff, walk into the gym. I'm definitely gonna be filming my workouts, especially my main lifts for Wendler, uh, just because it's, better for me to keep progress like that as opposed to just writing it down it's a lot easier to see your progress I filmed a couple things this week I filmed my deadlifts this morning I filmed some of my accessory work uh, I think I filmed my bench I'm not sure if I filmed my squats or my overhead press but I'm definitely gonna be making a point to do that especially just for my benefit so I can see my form and also so that you guys can tell me what my form looks like, what I need to improve on. But I'm just really looking forward to this and being able to track my progress a lot better than just writing things down and looking back and being like, oh, was that easy? Was that tough, those reps? I mean, if you track workouts, you know what I'm talking about. Um, right now I'm going to put some footage from my workouts this week. So this is the end of cycle one, week one. So next week, my main lifts, the four days a week, it's going to be for overhead press, squat, bench, and deadlift. I'm going to be doing 3-3 three, three, and 3-plus three rep range. I'm not sure what those percentages are of my maxes. My maxes that I went with, I went with the training maxes that Jim Wendler recommends, where that's like taking your calculated one rep, one rep max and multiplying that by 90% so that you're not really overwhelming yourself in your first cycle and then recalculating those max numbers for the following cycle which would be next month and then uh, working it out from there so I mean as you can tell I'm, I'm really excited to get this program going I did push pull legs for a while I mean I love to push pull legs I'm probably gonna end up doing that again once I get bored of this but for now I'm really looking forward to this so if you keep watching, I'm going to be posting some of my workouts from this week. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Anything you want me to talk about in this video series. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. You can give me some suggestions if you really care. But, 
just stay posted and I'll definitely be updating this hopefully once or twice a week. I'm thinking just maybe once a week at the end of the week. I'm just gonna like kind of put everything together. All my lifts and all just my little things I'm talking about during the week. But let me know if there's anything specific you guys want to see, any videos that you want me to just like talk about whatever. I'm really looking forward to this. So take a look at some of the stuff that I recorded this week and let me know what you guys think. Thanks again for watching.